Uh, first of all, I'd like to say like, thank you to the new people that were here today. Woo. Um, we've been meeting here every Saturday from noon to three. So, uh, but what we decided recently was that we dedicate the first symposium of the month to some sort of focused lecture. So today we're really lucky to have Tomer Gao from Welcome to America, who will be uh, explaining how to use various sources of control voltage to synchronize and trigger uh, back, uh, hacked and bent devices and toys including a MIDI to control voltage conversion demonstration of some sort. So uh, without further ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tomer Gao. All right, so um, when you play circuit bent music, uh, there comes a point where you realize that you're dealing with a whole bunch of chaotic instruments. And so you can, I mean, there's several ways to, to use that chaos, like Roth Mobot, for instance, uses it very well to kind of create this uh, I wouldn't know. It's, it's almost like it, um, an entire movement. It's not based on one particular rhythm, but the both of them have good rhythm, so they can allow that chaos to kind of work itself out. But when one's playing by himself, or if you're trying to do something else and kind of uh, make your instruments tie together, uh, then you have to create some sort of leash, let's say, for the chaos. Uh, so what I have learned from, actually from Michael Luna, who is not here, um, but another excellent hacker, uh, he basically put me in touch with this guy uh, that run John, that runs a company called Highly Liquid, and they make all these kits that are MIDI conversion to control voltage. So I was told to put shit here. This is what it is, um, and basically each note on a MIDI scale, I think there's two octaves, there's 24 outputs, so each note is basically, you can play a MIDI note into it and then it'll send out a control voltage, or basically plus or minus, I think it's 5 volts, so either it's on or it's off. Um, so. How does one control homemade musical instruments uh, easily and effectively? Because obviously, you know, we're not geniuses and we just like to put stuff together. We need kind of some sort of simple way to do it. Um, so I, I have found, I mean, I've used basically two ways to uh, take advantage of control volt, actually three ways, let's say. Um, one of which is to trigger uh, just a simple sound. One of them is to sequence or basically use a 4017 chip, which is a 10 step <coughs> counter, and you can use it to make, use it, use it as an eight step counter so that you keep it 4-4 four, four time. And then you can run it as a sequencer, basically. So it always has four steps. It'll always stay in 4-4. Four, four. Um, and the control voltage in that case is being used to advance to the next step. Whereas in some, uh, some toys, you can use a positive voltage to trigger the actual note, or to trigger the actual sound, which I actually use in this. I use the control voltage to both trigger the sound and uh, to change to a different potentiometer on each step, basically sequencing the resistance in eight steps. Um, so basically, uh, one of the simplest ways also is to use the uh, control voltage to change pitch, and you can change pitch of a toy that's making a noise, and the pitch change will happen on rhythm, basically, if you're running you know, the same rhythm for your MIDI output. Um, so an easy way to do that is to create what's called a Vactral, which is just a uh, photo uh, resistor, uh, which changes its resistance uh, with the amount of light that's shining through it, or that's shining into it, basically, and then coupling it with an LED. And the most important thing is to just make sure that there's no extra light getting into it, so black electrical tape works really well. Also, black epoxy, uh, Patrick has made a bunch of them with uh, black 
black epoxy, I believe, or it was epoxy and um, I black use tape. a paper tube and then black electrician's tape and then pack the ends with uh, black epoxy. Yeah, so... Do, do it in the square. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I just kind of roll my own here. Try to get it kind of kissing so that it doesn't wobble around too much. Bag troll is B as in boy or B as in Victor? B as in Victor, back troll. You can read a lot about it in uh, Nick Collins' book, uh, Handmade Electronic Musical Instruments or whatever the name is. And they're Nick, also sold Nick pre made. And they're also sold pre made, but I wouldn't recommend them just because just make one. That's the whole point. <laughs> All right, so basically just rolling it up. Sometimes use a little bit of tape to close both ends between the legs so that, again, there's no light shining through. But anyway, I mean, this is just very simple things that you can kind of experiment with at home. But what's really nice about it is all you need to do is just light the LED, and then it'll create a change in resistance. And it's it's a very simple way to just uh, you know control any sort of uh, uh, voltage controlled oscillator, which is what a lot of these toys are. Most of these toys, if not all of them, are voltage controlled oscillators. So. You, uh, the amount of voltage that goes to the brain uh, actually changes the pitch of the toy. And uh, you know, if you've been to some of the workshops here, or, you know, if you've been here, you've seen one of us take out a pitch resistor. Uh, so basically, I can use this as a pitch resistor to a toy, and then I can just light this end, the LED. And every time the LED lights up, it's going to change the resistance that's uh, that the toy has, and it'll just kind of make a weird woo, woo, woo. So uh, you can use that either as the main pitch resistor or what I've done here with the, uh, with my speaking math is, I can't really open it right now, but there is one of these inside of the speaking math, or inside of the box that I built to plug into the speaking math that tickles the uh, pitch resistor itself. Uh, so I've actually rigged it so this joystick changes the amount of resistance, but it's the same thing as you know twirling a potentiometer. It's actually two potentiometers working on two different axes, but uh, you can change the amount that uh, it actually warbles the the pitch or how much it cuts in just by changing the amount of energy that's allowed to uh, light the light bulb or to light the LED or you could do it on the other end and just the amount of resistance that's coming out of the uh, actual piece itself. But, I mean, it's just very simple, you know. You, you're basically making a light that flickers on and off. Changing the brightness of that light will, you know, change the amount that the photoresistor changes the resistance in the toy. And so you have a very controllable uh, variable, basically, uh, that makes it really easy to just kind of add something into the mix that wouldn't usually be, you know, on rhythm, so um, I'll go into the kit, I guess, just so that there's fluid, fluidity, but basically this thing, as I mentioned before, it's just taking a MIDI uh, note and turning it into control voltage, um, so I have it outputting the voltage uh, from here, from these just simple quarter inch, because I have a bunch of them. Um, and then I just build all of my instruments with some sort of input, some quarter inch input that will, uh, you know, do something with uh, control voltage. So in this case, again, it's a Vactral in there. Um, and then I use Ableton Live. That's the music making software that I use. <laughs> um, so basically, I have a MIDI. Ba I mean, if you don't. Ableton Live, you know, it, there's a, definitely a bit of a learning curve, but it, it's very capable software. And you'll see with this MIDI uh, file right here, 
I have two notes. One is going to this middle one, this is the first note, and then I have another one coming from this one, which is the second note up. So I have the middle one going, you know, uh, eight steps for every two bars, I believe, and then uh, this one is one step for every uh, bar, or yeah, something like that, whatever. Um, so just by telling this thing what MIDI note to play, it's going to send out voltage through here. And actually, I can show you with the simple LED what it's doing. end of the LED, put it on the negative, and then here's the positive end, and you'll see that it's lighting on a consistent basis. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So basically all I'm doing is taking that signal and then putting it into a pitch resistor, or putting it into a photo resistor, which is going to basically change the amount of resistance every time this light goes on. So if I just get this thing going. So this is it just running by itself. You know, the nothing special. Uh, I'm just changing the pitch with the joystick. Uh, and then there's a bend that I put in here that'll just basically make a sound continuously go. So it, that's just kind of the one sound that it's making. And I have uh, this thing running. So now it's kind of hard to see this, uh, but this error light is actually just a signifier um, of you know when the the uh, LED is getting current. So now so every time the light goes on, it's changing the pitch of the entire toy. And again, I can change the brightness of the LED. pitch resistor being uh, kind of changed by control voltage. And I actually can do this without my computer. I've already built a 555 timer, which all it does is just send a signal and then, you know, send voltage and then it doesn't send voltage. Sends voltage, doesn't send voltage, which is the same thing that this thing is doing. It just, every time I plug something into here, we use, a lot of us use these uh, cutoff a uh, quarter inch so that every time you plug something in you can sever a, a connection that uh, is already there. So right now that's what I have. You know, I can change the speed of the 555. And in essence that's control voltage. I mean it's just sending a voltage and I can actually take the control voltage the same speed as this one and plug it into this thing and uh, it'll run this thing on the same rhythm basically so all of these toys or all of these instruments can connect sorry the <laughs> sequencer um, so yeah we can put this one aside for now uh, so the MIDI to control voltage converters made by a company called Highly Liquid Highly Liquid yeah HighlyLiquid.com yeah you can get a kit or a uh, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. If, does he sell produce? Yeah, he does. But I mean, buy the kit. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why are you even here? <laughs> uh.